Help support the channel. Go to thereef.support and get early access to podcasts, videos, and other content. That's thereef.support. Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're gonna talk about some Lucasfilm rumors. Mm -hmm. Rumors, uh, supposedly, they're going to announce a couple more Star Wars movies. It's Three more movies. It's Celebration. Now, as we have learned in the past, just because they announce a Star Wars movie doesn't mean it's actually going to get made. Right, which leads us to another rumor about Kathleen Kennedy getting a deadline, which we'll talk about in a bit. Yeah, and that also leads to a rumor that the Indiana Jones planned Disney Plus show has been canceled. But they're going to double down on Star Wars content. They're going to double down on Star Wars content because, you Should know. we get more more glorious gems like this one? I mean, I love Grogu, Gro Gro, don't get me wrong. But this is just really, really bad. Look at this. Wee. I just can't. Oh, yippee. I just can't. Oh my God. <laughs> I just can't. People were trying to defend it. They're like, they're like, well, Yoda was like doing backflips and stuff, you know, in in uh, Attack of the Clones. I'm like, yeah, but that actually looked kind of cool. Well, this, you're, you know what I think is going on? It would look cool if they had had CG. Yeah. And they aren't because the, the, the effects studios are all tied up with Marvel or other Star Wars stuff, or they're just not working for them anymore because they've been blacklisted or because they're tired of their shit and that's why they're trying to unionize and Disney has not a good reputation with them right now. Yeah, so we'll, uh, God, uh, let's let's talk about this. Uh, before you get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news views and rants, guys. Uh, almost 300,000 subs. Woo! Thank you so much for the support, greatly appreciated. We have been kind of chronicling the demise of Star Wars and Lucasfilm under Disney for years. Um, and uh, they're we are crushing it. To, yeah. like, and not in a good way. They're not they're crushing like it. They're literally anymore. crushing it. And it is something that is an evergreen brand that uh, under anybody else's ownership probably would have flourished. But Disney's going to Disney and they've completely Disneyed Star Wars. And now a lot of people just don't care. But they're announcing more movies. Uh, this after the other movies declined film after film after film. And uh, yeah, so yesterday we reported that Ryan Johnson's trilogy apparently is 100% dead. So don't Which, look for that announcement. Everybody should have known. It's like, shocker, that was one of the rumors. Again, these are just rumors. Rumors. God, I, I, every time you hear rumors, like, you go, you're wrong. Um, it, these are just rumors. And <laughs> take it with a grain of salt. Sometimes I believe it, sometimes I don't. But yeah, so apparently, according to this new rumor... Um, there are going to be three new movies that are going to be announced. Like, these aren't ones that we knew about previously. These are new ones that are going to be announced. This new, new after movies. After we heard that Ryan Johnson's has been canceled. After Kevin Feige's is canceled. After Penny Jenkins is probably canceled. The only one I think that still is going on was that Taika Waititi one, and there's one other one that we're going to talk about here in a minute, that that, that Lindelof, and, or whatever yeah. his name, Lindelof, whatever the hell his name was, is yeah. off of now. Um, it always, always creative differences. They always get gone. Yeah, it's like a pattern. Kathleen Kennedy is definitely at the center of that. Um, Which is a rumor we're tied to one of the movies in play about her. But yeah, so three new movies are supposed to be coming next month, according to Jeff Snyder on the Hot Mike podcast. The Hot Mike Take podcast. it or leave it that his insiders are telling him. Right, right. Three new movies are going to be announced at Celebration. And that's going to be in London in the beginning of April. Okay. Um, and he said, yeah, he said, I am told three movies. Three movies will be announced. Whether they thought they actually make them, who the hell knows? But I, three are, are announced. I, th th that's the thing. Like there have been, and we we did a tally yesterday. There have been more cancel announced and canceled Star Wars projects than projects that have actually come to fruition. It's like at this point, like what the hell? Just don't even. I mean, I know they're trying to marvel it and be like, we're releasing these movies up through you know because it, it gets the, the investors pumped. I think investors are asking questions. I think they're like. What the hell is going on with Star Wars? Like, there's no Star Wars movie coming. The TV shows are getting pummeled by audiences and mm. critics. And even, you know, we talked yesterday, you know, the mainstream media is even like, what the hell's up with Star Wars? Disney destroyed it. Yeah. And it's 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 been a problem. And they're, you know, focused on trying to make money and cut expenses. And Star Wars isn't bringing it. But we're getting all kinds of Star Wars shows. And they're moving forward. Like, you know, you have the Soka show and the Acolyte and the Skeleton Crew and all that. They are moving forward. And they're cheap. There's yeah. a couple things. They're cheap and they're low risk because you can dump the content on the Disney Plus. Would anyone have gone to the theater 
to see an Obi-Wan movie that was like the Obi-Wan show. No, because it um, wasn't even what, because I mean, it was about Leia and Obi-Wan, which made no sense. Now they said they might announce Obi-Wan season two at, at Celebration, but hopefully it'll be about, you know, Obi-Wan and maybe Luke and make no, sense. No, it'll be Obi-Wan, but actually about Baru. The secret hero. <laughs> I don't know. Of, yeah, she, she, was, she was behind everything. But if they do more Reva, just give her her own show. Don't make it Obi Wan. Yeah, um, so, but then here's where it gets interesting. According to his insider, they're talking about that. Is it Shermid? How do you say his name? Shermid Obey Chinoy. I don't know. Shermid Chinoy, whatever his name is. S O C. So this movie, this movie that we've talked, this is one thing that 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 um, Lindelof was associated with. Okay. Okay. I think that's. I think it's this one. Don't get. I mean, I could be wrong. I think so. There's so many. It's really hard to keep track. Um, they're saying that this movie is what it's all kind of hinging on for Kathleen Kennedy, according to Schneider. Snyder, so Snyder, Snyder, says that it's a big movie, not just for Star Wars, but for Kathleen Kennedy. So I'm told that if Kathleen Kennedy's whole job, the, the Kathleen Kennedy's whole job depends on having a movie in theaters on Christmas Day 2025. If there's no movie, there's no job. Okay. That's their rumor. So this is the goalpost moving again. So we were told before that if Indiana Jones flops, Indiana Jones 5 flops, that that was it. And then Indiana Jones 5 got pushed back and pushed back and pushed back. She renewed her contract through 2024, the end of 2024. Now we're saying Christmas Day 2025. So yesterday we said, look, you know, we've been hearing since like 2017, 2018 that Kathleen Kennedy was going to get gone any day now. Right. The, the, the next month, I tell, I swear, oh, if this fails, she's gone. If that fails, she's gone. She should have been fired like a bazillion times by now. So by 2025, we're talking seven or eight years of speculation that Kathleen Kennedy would someday leave Lucasfilm. What people want to happen is they want her to get Victoria Alonso'd. And get thrown out well, on which her is, ass. Which is what people were wondering. Like, they're wondering, now they've got rid of Victoria Alonso, are they going to get rid of Kathleen Kennedy? But Kathleen Kennedy is kind of, like, in charge over there. It's going to be harder to, you know, get rid yeah, of her. Yeah, it'd be like getting rid of Kevin Feige. Do um, I need to get rid of Kathleen Kennedy? Oh, my gosh, absolutely. Oh, yeah, everybody, everybody knows I mean, how many DM movies have been, you know, shifted around? Creative differences. They make these announcements and they don't deliver anything. And it's been a lot of really shitty things, and it just never ends. I mean, they could. Uh, she does have, as I understand it, her contract is is secure until the end of 2024. Now, that being said, there always are buyout clauses or there are performance clauses or whatever. You know, if you decide you just don't want to go to work anymore, guess what? We're not going to pay you. But as long as she's working on something. So I think I think she's kind of kind of pulling a stone soup. OK, and I talk about I talk about this. I remember the stone soup story when I was a kid. Yeah. yeah stone soup. For those of you who don't know, it's a parable about a guy who's like, oh, yeah, I'm going to make stone soup. So I'm going to boil some water, put the stone in here. And um, people are like, oh, what are you doing? Well, I'll bring some vegetables. Well, no, it's like he takes a sip. This would be better if it had carrots. Yeah. I have carrots and they bring it. Yes. Takes it. This would be better so if it had beans. Diet. Oh, I have beans and they bring it. So everybody's trying to watch this guy make the soup. But in the end, they all make the soup for him because he tricks them into making the soup for him. And it buys him time. But he also feeds too. everybody with the soup. He so. feeds it. Well, that's not going to happen here. She's going to keep all damn that's soup the part, herself. That's the parable part. You're, um, it doesn't really so happen. I just completely didn't even get the parable. But basically, no, basically. Basically, <laughs> she's. I had learned nothing from parables. I learned nothing, just like Kathleen Kennedy has learned nothing from her failures. Um, no, but but the thing is, is that like she is she is stalling for time. I think she's stalling for time. Oh, let's push Indiana Jones back. Oh, let's push this show back. Oh, let's you know kind of dawdle along here. And I really think she's just kind of pushing things back. And if they're getting short with her and being like, you have to shit or get off the pot. Kathy, and we know it's going to be shit, you know, because everything you've touched yeah, has turned to shit. shit, Yeah, you know, but you've got until 2025 to deliver or she has to have this movie in production by then. But what's you know, interesting I, is, I here's the, the thing that's interesting, though, about that rumor, though. They're saying by 2025 Christmas, but her contract's up 2024. Yes. So, I mean, I guess it's a rumor. Do I it's know if it's, if it's true? I don't know, because... Um, right now, Disney needs to turn to profit. They're trying to make things profitable. She seems to be a, a hindrance where I guess they, she's been told she wasn't allowed to announce stuff unless they knew they were doing it. But I guess they're announcing stuff at, at Celebration. I don't know what's going on. She has to. I mean, last time she made a bunch of announcements, she looked stupid because they had to walk back 
you know, Rogue Squadron right. and all this and other stuff. And a lot stuff. of it got, didn't get done because of creative differences, like with her. Like Gina Carano was a creative difference. We well, had to get rid of her. Yeah, her I show. mean, yeah. And, and they got this creative, I'm thinking more like, you know, Patty Jenkins, creative yeah. differences. And then they had the Obi-Wan show that was written and the script was thrown out because creative differences I think basically means put Leia in it. And we keep seeing that. Like, we saw different people who were supposed to lead films that might have had a better take on a film, but they weren't allowed to move forward with it because of creative differences. It's like they're go-to for everything. And the choices they've made aren't always the better choice. And Kennedy's behind that. And, yeah, they have, might have had a hit with Mandalorian. They're going to run that to the ground, guaranteed. Mm -hmm. I mean, we already saw Baby Yoda looking like... I mean, it's a sack of flour. It's literally like someone kind holding a string it. Or something, you can see yeah. someone in a green. You can, you can see somebody in a green outfit, like yeah. Pulled, somebody like, did that. Me over yeah. And back. That's what I mean. Somebody did the meme. Man. It's like they just took a, a, a Grogu doll and just like made it do a back. Like I he's mean, on a stick or something, and they're just like a green stick, and they're flipping, you oh know, and turning. God. It looks, and then he moves a lot before and after. But when he's in the air, he's just like it looks like a, a it's like static, fake sack of flour. Looks like a turd with ears flying through the air. <laughs> it, just, it just does not look good. <laughs> they have to improve from this. Um, people are just getting um, tired of it. And then the, the other rumor is they're not the Indiana Jones. They're going to do Indiana Jones TV show for Disney Plus. Yep. Well, now another rumor, which I think also came from him, yes, um, indicates that they are not going to do the show. And like, what well, they already scrapped Willow. I'm sorry, temporarily put it um, on the shelf. But you know, it's going to come back in two to. 13 years. Um, yeah. So this, this is some great a damage control here. Cause that, again, we had, you know, John Kasdan out there saying it wasn't canceled. Everybody else is like, no, nah, it's, it's totally canceled. That everybody's going home. They're moving on to other projects. It's, it's canceled. That's what canceled means. And yes, we do live in an age when you can continue a TV show 20 or 30 years after the fact, but that doesn't mean that the initial series, the initial run wasn't canceled. Right. And it's like, this is all in like in, in his truth, you know, kind of thing. So Willow is getting shelved, which is another Lucasfilm property. And then Indiana Jones, um, which I think a TV show could have been done well if it was like, you know, like the Young Adventures or something like that. They could have done that. They've done it before. Yeah. Um, Young Indiana Jones Chronicles, which was actually, it was pretty okay. Um, and they actually had an ending. They were talking about, you know, Indy 5 being the ending for Indy. I'm like, no, they already gave him a send off. Old Indy with an eye patch in that series and we didn't we don't need to go back to that. No, like, but we, we yeah, here we are cuz money. We are. Yeah. So now they're supposedly shelving that and they're supposed to be taking the money and putting it towards more Star Wars projects. But the Star Wars brand is so damaged, people are so sick of it. Um, but meanwhile, we're getting all these shows, but we're not getting any movies. There has not been a film in the theater since Rise of Skywalker in 20, 2019. Yeah. There hasn't been a film in there. And then if, if we're talking out to 2024, I think is the earliest I think the movie might be out, maybe, possibly, maybe. That's like, you know, five years and even possibly six years. Yeah. Um, I hope maybe he got it confused. Maybe if there's not something in the theater by 2024, maybe. Because <laughs> and then her contract is up. Because 2025 just doesn't, I mean, it, that could be the truth, but her well, contract's up in 2024, so I'm wondering if he meant 2024. I don't know. Well, that's, you know, she's going to buy more time um, or be like, well, okay, uh, you know, um, so yeah, I know my contract's up, but we're already under production for this movie. And if you just, you know, extend it another year and we'll see how it does at the box office. And if it does good, then I get another 10 years of life. Kevin Kennedy is going to be got, gone whenever they get rid of her, whatever time that is, whether it be this year or, you know, two years from now. They're eventually, it's eventually going to come true. Eventually. 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 And I mean, they're she, going to celebrate her and act like it was her choice. I guarantee it. They're most, not going to just dip, drop her ass. and. Yeah. They're, everybody wants to see her, like, you know, do the walk of shame with her cardboard box and her little that's not gonna happen. Grogu and her potted plant. And that's that's not going to – on no planet is that going to happen. Um, that being said, it was kind of shocking about Victoria Alonso, but she was not the boss boss. She yeah, thought she, she thought was. she was, and that probably was was the main reason she got gone. But yeah, she also had she's probably insubordinate. I hate people who are insubordinate when you tell them not to do things, and they keep doing it behind your back anyway. And they wait till you're gone, and then post stuff when they weren't supposed to. Then they get fired, and then why am I fired? I just don't, I don't know. Why did you get fired? Why did you get fired? Yeah, yes, yes. We've had issues. Uh, we've had issues before. But yeah, I think, you know, because she even said, fly out, well, Kevin Feige is not my boss. And I'm sure Kevin Feige, if asked directly, would disagree with that assessment. He'd be like, I'm, <laughs> well, he wouldn't, I'm the head of Marvel what Studios. Would he know? Because he'd be like, afraid he'd get canceled. I don't know. I don't know. He tried to push back on the stupid Kevin robot with the ball cap. 
And they they're like, oh, shut up, Kevin. <laughs> oh yeah, that was really I was stupid, like, what? man. I'm like, no, I, I think was, he's wow. I think he's like, yeah, I'm over this shit. I don't I, know. I'm, I'm, I'm sure done. she was in on that, but at this point, yeah, she's gonna be gone sometime. I I know her contract's up in end of 2024, so to me, it makes more sense because they were saying before they need to have a movie in theaters by 2024. So I don't know if it's a matter of it's 2024, not 2025, or they're actually hearing 2025. Who, or, who the hell knows? I mean. I don't even try to guess anymore. I was hoping with the cuts, and we actually thought maybe with all these cuts coming out that this might be the year that they finally actually do something because we knew they weren't mm. going to do something prior. But her contract is good for another year, so who knows? Um, so that being said, Indiana Jones, we're talking about Indiana Jones 5. Kathleen Kennedy, please push Indiana Jones 5 back and reshoot it with short round. They're not gonna. I don't want, I don't know. I, I just want it over with. Pull that bandaid off. Do well, you really, he's gonna do you pass really want, the but let me ask you, do you really want to, do you really want, can't we just leave him on a high note? Do you really want to put him in the current year stuff? Current year, sure. I don't know if I want to. I mean, it's like, this is, this is, this is, let's just keep him, you know. Pure. Yes. Pure sure. And he's, even as an adult, he's a he's pure. Let's just keep him pure. He seems like such a nice guy. He does. Let's humble. not taint him with putting him let's, in this atrocity. Let's not taint him with more Disney. Let's keep short round away from Disney. That's right. Uh, actually, his his price, I'm sure, just went up astronomically yeah, because he got an Oscar. Go you ahead. Know, but, uh, I'm just like, I don't know. So it is what it is. These are the rumors. Again, we aren't the ones pushing the rumors. We're just telling you what it's being said. Yeah, um, I don't. I don't care. I literally, I'm, and I've said before, I mean, we, we follow this because it's the, the drama of Disney Star Wars is infinitely more interesting than Disney Star Wars itself. But I am, I'm not mad anymore. I don't care. It's like, I just basically, I look at Disney Star Wars the same way I look at Marvel Comics. Like for me, Marvel Comics ended mid to late nineties from, you know, the sixties to the mid to late nineties. And I'm good. I don't need anything else beyond that. It's, you know, and same with Star Wars, like the George Lucas era, that was Star Wars. All the Disney stuff was Apocrypha. A couple things here and there make nice fan fiction, but it's it's not canon in my head and I don't have to watch all of it. No, you so. don't have to. I don't know. I'm just, we're just reporting on what we're hearing. Um, hey, look, sometimes the leaks are true. Sometimes the leaks are true, but we'll see. I don't know. I don't really care. I know everybody's been running with this guy's leaks because they've, I, I don't know, they, they've been pretty reliable. I yeah, guess. so we'll we'll see what happens, guys. Proof's in the pudding. Um, I, I just do not expect Kathleen Kennedy to do the walk of shame the way that people have fantasized about her doing for years. I just don't see it happening. So mm -mm. we're going to wrap it up. Yep. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.